everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a makeup tutorial for you which I'm really excited about. It is a Khloe Kardashian makeup tutorial because you guys request me to do Khloe's makeup all the time. And this is actually in collaboration with the gorgeous Crystal Conti who I absolutely love. If you haven't subscribed to Crystal's channel yet, I don't know where you've been, she's amazing, she works so hard on her channel, she uploads so many videos. Crystal went for one of Chloe's more like uh, nudie, bronzy looks, so I thought I would go for one of her deeper lips and just roll with that. So I really hope you guys enjoy, make sure you go and check out Crystal's video, it's absolutely gorgeous as free and always and let's rock and roll. Now these Kardashians wear so much coverage on their skin, they make their skin look absolutely flawless so I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation today and I'm going to mix it with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light because I'm between shades at the moment so I'm using 2W2 and shade 4. I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques sponge. Ex perfection, complexion, confection, stum smection sponge I'll heal you with a power cuz I see many things but I never seen so you've probably noticed that my nose is like really pink I didn't put any foundation on the end of my nose because I don't like how that foundation sits on it it goes really weird and like cakey and separates and gross so I'm just gonna use concealer so I'm gonna use that now it's still in the box because it's new, but I'm using my favourite, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. Chloe always has nice highlighted under eyes, like she likes that really lifted look. And I smelt when you're near. Now I look a little bit like an alien, that's okay. We fix that. I'm now going to highlight even more. You're probably thinking, really? Yes, really. My Light Boost Prep and Prime highlighter. And I'm just going to pop this right on the tops of my cheekbones. Wrap your wonders in my thoughts. Kiss me so. Because I've seen many things, but I've never seen someone like you. I'm not going to go for like an, a crazy Emma Brow, I'm just going to go for like a, a defined Emma Brow. If you're from Crystal's channel you'll see that I enjoy a bold brow. So uh, we're just going to wipe these bad boys on. Do your brows how you like to do them. I'm falling for you. set your eyebrows with some sort of brow gel. I like the L'Oreal Brow Plumper and I use the darkest one just to give them a little bit of a texture back. And I've heard all the songs but I've never like I do. Okay, let's get some eye makeup on because at the moment my face looks like an egg with eyebrows. So, the first shade I am going to take is from MAC and it's called Dark Brew. It's from the Warm Neutrals palette. It's like a, uh, a burgundy shade. I'm going to mix it a little bit with the shade Saddle here, making like a really, really warm brown. And I'm just going to begin buffing this in the outer corner of my eye. Catch me forever falling for you. She's blood, flesh, and bone. Once you have applied that into your crease quite liberally, quite a lot of that colour, um, you're then just going to want to take saddle and you just want to apply this onto the rest of your lid. But somehow I can't believe how anything should happen. 
I know where I belong And nothing's gonna happen Yeah Cause she's Taking that sh shame shallow <laughs> Taking that same colour again I'm gonna run that underneath my eyes And smoke it out a bit so lovely. She's so high at the moment I've only used really warm matte colours so now I'm gonna go a little bit crazy and I'm gonna apply more of a cool toned shimmery colour in the centre of my lid so this is patina from MAC in the centre of my lid this will just add a little bit of shimmer and will also just add a bit of contrast into the look with some cool tone First class and fancy free She's high society Chloe tends to vary how kind of dark she goes on her eyes Rather than using a brown or a black on my waterline I'm going to use a nude This is my Stila Kajal liner in Topaz And I'm going to run this over my waterline She's perfect as she can be why should I even bother? I, I, I love how creamy that pencil is. It's beautiful. I'm going to go for something a little bit different. I'm going to use this L'Oreal eyeshadow in the shade Chameleon. This is gorgeous. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It's like a purple and a blue and it is just so unbelievably stunning. So I'm going to put this on the inner corner. I really hope that this shade shows up on the camera because it's awesome. I'm going in with the first shade I took and I'm just running a tiny bit of this just on the outer part of the eye just to deepen that bit up a little bit. I'm then going to apply the what's this? The Maybelline One by One mascara. And the lashes I'm going to use today are quite um, like flirty and fluttery. These are the Ardell Wispies. It's what she says sounds so unreal. And somehow I can't believe that anything should happen. Okay, now those are the eyes done. I'm going to finish my face and I'm really very warm. Oh, I'm wearing like very warm clothes. Wow. So recently I've been really liking setting my concealer with my MAC Studio Fix powder in NC25 because it's a bit lighter than my skin coat. Why can't I speak? It's a bit lighter than my skin tone at the moment and also just helps add some coverage. going to want to add shape back to your face at the moment I'm looking very 2D so I'm going to what do I want to use my NARS casino bronzer which is nearly completely dead and I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones contour my nose just give my face back the life that it lost when I put foundation on <laughs> a small amount of a very bright blush this if I can open it this is pomegranate from sleek so I'm just gonna dab dab and just apply this to the lower part of my cheeks just to get those berry tones back in now onto the fun bit which is the lip. I'm going to use one of my all time favourite lip liners from MAC, this is Night Moth. And I'm just going to fill in my lips completely, cover the whole thing. Obviously I'm overdrawing them a bit because no Kardashian look is complete without overdrawn lips. to give away. just did something blasphemous, I nearly forgot my highlight. 
Where is it? Where you be? I'm gonna use what's up from Benefit because I can. On the tops of my cheekbones. I see familiar faces all around. I see familiar places I've been here once before with you. My finished Chloe Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And obviously, obviously, go and subscribe to Crystal's channel. All of her links are down below to both of her channels because she vlogs every day as well. How she fits everything into one day, I just, I just don't know. She actually did a whole video on how she juggles having a full-time job and doing YouTube, so... That's also really useful, so go watch that. <laughs> go and comment on Crystal's video saying Emma's rectangle sent me or I came from Emma's video or something just so we know who's like crossing over, who's joining whose little clan. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day as I always do and I will see you in my next video.